Hey everybody, Dave Hodges here. I'm the host of The Common Sense Show. We are the show that is freeing America one enslaved mind at a time. I understand that some of you have been unsubscribed from various channels. I'm not sure what the glitch is. I would just encourage you to resubscribe that you're not getting our notifications. I'm hearing that as well too. You just get to check back on a regular basis, but since we archive everything, if you don't catch us live, you'll still catch us. Hey, we're um, brought to you by Keto Elevate. I absolutely love this product because it's the keto diet without the rigidity. You can have some carbs, you're gonna lose weight, and you're gonna experience a great product that will cause you to lose weight. 51% off while supplies last. Ketowithhodges.com is where you wanna be, ketowithhodges.com. Well, the Catholic leaders, I guess I have to say, what took you so long? <laughs> what took you so long, Catholic leaders? They're calling on the Pope to resign. Worldwide, Catholic leaders are now saying the Pope needs to resign. And the reasons they're giving, violation of church doctrine. The church does not embrace birth control. The church does not embrace abortion. The church does not embrace combining that religion with any other religion. Uh, the church does not embrace the forfeiture of private property rights. The ch this is absolutely stunning. It took this long for Catholic leaders to finally rise up and say enough is enough is enough. And they're calling for the resignation of the Pope. And I'm saying it's about time. I've said my heart goes out to my Catholic friends because I know how many of you are so devout in your faith. And I know how difficult this has been for you to watch, to live through. I know how the hard the priests have basically have tried to walk the middle line by being subservient to the Pope as doctrine demands. But with each passing day, the Catholic Church seems to get away more and more from its original mission. I get that. I understand the pain and the angst involved. And I think this is a real positive sign. I've said there are signs of pockets of resistance to some of the tyranny we're seeing across the planet and including what's invaded the Catholic Church. And we're beginning to see maybe some silver linings here of people saying enough is enough. I got to tell you, the Catholic friends I have that I speak with, they are disgusted by this pope. They say we follow nothing this pope says. We put our faith in our priests. We put our faith in the Bible and in Jesus. We do not put our faith in this in this Pope. And thank you, all of you out there who are Catholic, who understood my criticism of this Pope, had nothing to do with the criticism of your church. Absolutely nothing. And now I'm starting to see the worm turn, and this is really welcome news. Well, that's it for the Common Sense Show. Please share this far and wide. Small victory for the good guys. Also, too, the commonsenseshow.tv is where you want to be, and we'll see you back here again next time.